Hello YouTube, welcome to another video from Cichlid Bros. Today we're going to be talking about the Geophagus Jurupari, which is just an incredible fish and I cannot wait to discuss it. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe down below. We'll be coming out with new videos each week and you just won't want to miss out. Alright, so here we have the Geophagus Jurupari, which as you can see is just a beautiful fish. First off, the Jurupari is commonly mislabeled at fish stores, and in fact, the Jurupari is not a Geophagus at all, but rather the name on the screen down below, which I'm not going to try and say. However, the word Satan or Demon Cichlid is derived from the name, and the Jurupari's true behavior couldn't be further from its nickname as the Demon Earth Eater. In fact, this fish is extremely peaceful, especially for a relatively large cichlid. It goes very well with other South American cichlids, such as the redhead tapahos in this tank here. Um, Sabrams would work well, Luacaras, even most community fish would work well with this. As you can see, they have an awesome silver and emerald coloration, and this only gets more vivid as they mature. They have amazing spike-shaped dorsal fins that make them stand out in any tank. Regarding tank mates, I would just make sure you don't pair them with anything too aggressive, as the Jurupari would do best in peaceful tanks. Besides, why have a fish with amazing fins like this if they're just going to be nipped up? Regarding tank size, these fish get big and long, up to 10 inches, so a large tank is required. At minimum, I would say a 55-gallon tank is recommended for a full-grown adult, but a 75-gallon would be much better suited. This Jurupari here is about 4 inches long, and it's currently in my 38-gallon tank, but we'll, that will only be for a few more weeks before he moves into my 75-gallon tank. And I'll put a card in the upper right-hand corner if you'd like to see more of that tank. Jurupari sift through sand constantly to find food, so sand substrate is a must in any aquarium with them. These fish are from South America, so they do prefer their water to be softer and pH closer to 6. However, I recommend keeping water consistent rather than always tinkering with acidity levels. The fish will do better long term if they don't have to deal with any large swings in its environment, and it's usually better if you're not the one making those swings. My tap water is naturally hard and high in pH, and I have not had any issues keeping any type of South Americans in the past. Jurupari prefer temperature in the 72 to 80 degree range, but I wouldn't go much higher than 80 degrees, and I would probably stay on the lower end of that spectrum. Regarding diet, my Jurupari will eat almost anything I put in the tank, and he always seems hungry. Um, you'll see throughout this video that he was just eating anytime I fed the tank. He's constantly grabbing mouthfuls of sand to find any scraps, so I would recommend a varied diet um, high in protein. And lastly, when it comes to breeding, it's unknown whether they pair off or have multiple partners. They are mouth brooders, so they will pick up eggs as soon as they're fer fertilized. And that sums up the Jurupari cichlid. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, the icon is down below in the right. Really excited to come out with more topics each week. We'll discuss everything from our tank setups, tips on keeping fish, and different care guides for other cichlids, such as the redhead tapos in this tank here. Again, really excited to talk through each of those things, but uh, thanks again for watching, and see you again on those next videos.